Welcome back to another edition of Trial by Fire, and this time I am going to be trying some different peanuts. I have from Compliments brand, which is a store brand up here in Canada. Um, I have sriracha and lime flavored kettle cooked peanuts. So I'm not expecting a huge uh, level on that one. Let's check out what they've got in this one. <clears throat> Peanuts, canola oil, seasoning, or seasonings include salt, sugar, garlic powder, red bell pepper, fructose, glucose, sodium, acetate, spices, citric acid, malic acid, acetic acid, yeast, contract, natural flavors, lime juice, high echloic sunflower oil, corn, maltodextrin, concentrated beet juice, spice extract, acid, acid, calcium, lactate, dextrose, calcium, Silicate and silicone dioxide. May contain tree nuts. Good to know in peanuts. Um, for a third of a cup servings, you've got 32% uh, of your total trans fats, 20% uh, saturated uh, fats, 18% fiber. Peanuts are always good for fiber. 3% uh, sugar, 12% of your daily sodium intake. Uh, yeah. Okay. So that's, there's that one, the uh, sriracha. And then I've got three pepper barbecue fa flavored as well. This one has pretty much the same thing, except the peppers that are in it are um, well, it's got onion powder, garlic powder, habanero, cayenne, and jalapeno peppers. So not, nothing on the super spicy uh, scale, but I have done these in a Spark video a while ago. They're the Picard's uh, ghost pepper, or hot ghost pepper, which will have the range of 800,000 to a million Scoville. So I'm going to have them for comparison. Okay. So let's go with the Sriracha first, since they're the lowest of the bunch here. Get them open. Oh, excuse me. Spell test. It's more like your typical barbecue peanuts. You see there's not a whole lot of, kind of uh, flavoring added to them. So I'll do a couple here for a taste test. So, first off, I forgot how tough kettle cooked peanuts can be at times. But I'm really not getting much of a taste off of them. So, let's go for more of a <clears throat> larger bunch here. Not quite a handful, but a palmful. Drop them. <laughs> Quite uh, crunchable. <clears throat> um, there's flavor there. Um, not overly <clears throat> spicy by any means. General public consumption might find it spicy. Um, the lime flavor is in there, but it's covered by a slight sriracha hint. Um, I would say. Definitely nothing for a chili head. Average person might find them about a three or a four on, on a spicy scale, depending on what their beginning level is. But it's, it'd be a, a spicy snack for anybody, really. Like, or just a snack, depending on your level. But. Okay, so let's go with the three pepper. The jalapeno, habanero, and, oh yeah, cayenne. Again, not for me. Not, <clears throat> sorry, throw it down. Not the hottest peppers to have, but for some people they are. So, 
And as a combination, who knows what they'll be like. Get nothing. Besides this peanut smell. These ones look like they just salted. <laughs> so dry. Um, plain peanuts. I'm not getting a hint of any of the peppers at all on this one. I'm trying to see if I can get it at all. Maybe have a, when I have more of them, I don't know, let's find out. Palm full again. Oddly enough, the sriracha ones had more kick. Um, <clears throat> I'm getting very much of the garlic taste in these. A little bit, and when I say a little bit, I mean like one crystal or two crystals of salt kind of stuff off the peanut that might possibly be cayenne. Not tasting the habaneros or the jalapenos. Jalapenos have a very distinct taste, as anybody knows. Um, and habaneros have that sweet taste. Not getting any of it. Not even close. So out of those, I definitely say the sriracha lime have more of a kick. But as yeah, they're designed for the general public, so wasn't expecting ghost pepper level by any means. Um, but yeah, they're definitely uh, an interesting peanut. But they're definitely very, very. Chewable. You have to chew them a lot because of them being kettle cooked. Um, now these ones, if you haven't seen my spark video on them, uh, ghost chili peppers, uh, salt, dextrose, canola oil, peanuts obviously, uh, spices, onion powder, garlic powder, soy sauce powder, spice extract. Um, yeah, it's, they contain mustard and egg. Okay. But, I don't know if I better eat these up there. Going to expire soon. Mm. These ones smell, and these ones you can tell are coated. Now, Picard's, higher brand quality, higher price compared to compliments, which, you know, name. Uh, store brand. Uh. Hmm. <coughs> Seven a couple of these, you could feel the burn. Um. Oh. <coughs> I will do more in a minute. <coughs> maybe, maybe not. Ooh. I'm gonna do a palm full. I will do some more. Making the nose run a little bit. <coughs> Second batch has a kick. Not as bad as the first because it was just going from basically a blank palette. Um, yeah, they're good. <coughs> if we can get hold of them. 
Or if you want to try them and you can't get hold of them, get hold of me. Maybe I can send you them. Um, message me through my uh, Facebook page at Trial by Fire and Soulful Blaze. All the information has been scrolling. Links down below. Um, I'll see what we can do for you. But yeah. Anyways, that's it for today. Enjoy the heat and stay spicy. I will talk to you later. Bye. Don't forget to follow, like, share, subscribe, and notify for on all social media.